everybody and welcome to LK Lifestyles. Today I'm going to be showing you a sous vide infused brandy that I call candy brandy. It's made with brandy and some simple sweet ingredients and it's a great liqueur that I like to sip on. It uses some, gr some cinnamon sticks, some pecans, um, the peel of an orange and some maple syrup and it's made in my Instant Pot using the sous vide function. And since that takes a while to get going, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you that I put about two thirds of the way full water and put the lid back on and push the sous vide function on my Instant Pot Duo Crispin Air Fryer for two hours and 30 minutes at 132 degrees Fahrenheit. And since that takes a long time to heat up, we're going to take an orange and I'm going to clean it really well to get the wax off and use a vegetable peeler and just slice the peel, trying not to get any of the pith. And I'm going to put that into my mason jar with a cinnamon stick that you can break if you want to, but you really don't have to. And I'm going to put that in with two tablespoons of maple syrup and then I'm going to put in some of my toasted pecans. I threw them around in a pan for about five minutes with nothing and toasted them just to make them a little brown. And then I'm just going to top it off with brandy. And you can use any brandy that you want, not flavored brandy, just regular brandy that you buy at the store hopefully on sale. I got mine for $9.99 for this Christian Brothers brandy and there's even some left over for me. So after I put everything in I'm going to give it a quick stir and I'm going to put the lid on my mason jar and I'm going to make sure that it's about finger tight. It doesn't have to be super duper tight but you're going to want it to be tight enough that it doesn't leak. And then we just wait for the Instant Pot to come to temperature. When it does come to temperature, you're just going to take the lid off and you're going to stick your mason jar right into the water. And it will displace the water just a little bit. We'll fit that lid right back on and let it sit for about two and a half hours. When all is said and done, you're just going to pull your mason jar out of the Instant Pot and you're going to let it sit on the counter for probably about a half an hour just so that it's not steaming hot when you strain it. And then when you do strain it, I want you to make sure that you save the nuts. Yep, I said it, save the nuts because they taste like fruitcake and they have alcohol in them and there's no sense in wasting them. So I like to put them on the side and just save them and snack on them. Quite a little tasty, they're a little soft. And then I strain my candy brandy into one of these handy dandy little 16 ounce glass bottles that I have and I love using these bottles. You can sterilize them first if you have to. You can see in the background I have one that I make my orange tequila in. And this will be a little bit more than 16 ounces, so of course I'm not going to throw the rest out. I'll save it and drink it. And I do like to label my bottle, and I keep this in the refrigerator. It can last in the refrigerator for months. So for something a little different, I thought that I would pop out on the other side of the camera on this video and say thank you so much for watching any videos on my channel, LK Lifestyles. If you like this video and you want to see more paleo videos, please hop on over and subscribe. I'm going to try my candy brandy. It's absolutely delicious. It, um, it's sweet, but you still taste the alcohol in it. I serve this over ice. I usually keep it chilled. Sometimes I actually pour it over ice cream. Um, and if you like this, let me know in the comments below. I take requests. Thanks for watching.